Hey everybody, I'm Abdul. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are actually going to make our game. We're going to do the coding. Um, we haven't uploaded for like two weeks because, uh, and to be really honest, I didn't get a chance to do any learning. But what I am going to do now is uh, learn on camera. I think it'll be better this way uh, because uh, in case I run into any problems, you can actually see how I fix them on camera. And so let's get started. Um, so I'll leave a link to this in the description box. So basically, uh, this is one of the tutorials offered by the official libgdx website, and we are going to follow it. Um, so let's dive into it. So, a few things. This can be a simple game, and uh, we will learn the fundamentals basically. So, the idea is that instead of making a really complex game for our first project, it's better to uh, learn from the basics. So, we're going to start off with the foundation. And then slowly build up. We're not going to go straight. Um, so think of uh, an example of a house. You build the foundation first. You don't start building the roof. I hope you know what I mean. So let's start. Um, right. The name. Okay, we've already given a name to our application, but. In case you haven't done that already, don't forget. So, my last video, I discussed how we can do that. So, don't forget to watch that one if you haven't already. Uh, you can go ahead and name it exactly the same thing. I think it would actually be better if you follow, if you follow the tutorial to the letter. Because uh, you sometimes th there might be things that you name differently, and you might run into problems. So I would advise just follow the tutorial to the letter, unless you know what you're doing. So what is what is this game going to be about? So basically. It's going to be, um, we're going to have a bucket on the lower part of the screen and then we're going to have raindrops come from the top and then the bucket is, we're going to use the bucket to try and catch them. Sounds really interesting. So catch raindrops with the bucket. The bucket is located in the lower part of the screen Raindrops spawn randomly at the top of the screen every second and accelerate downwards. Player can drag the bucket horizontally through the mouse or touch or move it left and right. The game has no end. I like that. <laughs> okay, so here are the here is the link to all of the actual sounds and stuff. So if you click on here, that will take you to the website freesound.org and then you can go ahead and download the sounds. I've done that already. And uh, just to let you know, you would have to move that into your Android folder. So you go to your game, first to the game, Android, Assets, and then I simply just pasted it in here. You can also do it through the IDE, through Android Studio. Uh, so you go there, and then Android, and then Assets, and then we can just drag and drop them over here. But I've already done that, so I'm not going to do that again. 
let's actually start the coding all right so given our requirements we can now configure our different starter classes we'll start with the desktop project okay open the desktop launcher.java class okay let's go ahead and do that right okay where is our desktop here it is yeah desktop launcher so here we have it open right okay so first we're going to determine the size of the window so it's going to be 800 by 480 we want an 800 by 480 window and set the title to drop okay I'm going to do the, exactly the same thing because uh, I want you to because basically I've I've done some projects in the past and uh, I I tried to do my own thing where I uh, would have different names for different things but then later on when I come when it comes to running the project you run into errors so I'm going to copy it to the letter right so let's type this in all right so we got the main method here and okay let me make this bigger let's get rid of this all right Okay, so our config dot title is going to be drop and uh, config dot width is going to be eight hundred, and then we've got the config dot height, which is going to be okay which is going to be 480 all right uh, so that's it. it looks like that's all there is to it and then moving on to the android project we want the application to be running a landscape mode so for this we need to modify the android manifest.xml file in the android or drop Android root directory right so let's navigate to our Android manifest file uh, okay Android Android manifest here it is okay we've opened it up now we have to change the screen orientation the setup tool already filled in the correct values for us. Okay. Android colon screen orientation is set to landscape. If we wanted to run the game in portrait mode, we would have set that attribute to portrait. So let's see what it is for us. Right. Okay. So for us, it's already landscape as well. So it seems like we don't have to make any changes over here right okay we also want to conserve the battery and disable the accelerometer and compass we do this in the android launcher.java file right so let's get rid of this let's open up what they're telling us to open up android launcher.java right where is that okay so yeah here it is right so what we got change over here mm, okay we cannot define the resolution of the activity 
as it is set by the Android operating system. As we defined earlier, we'll simply scale the 800 by 480 target resolution to whatever the resolution of the device is. Okay, let's go ahead and make the changes. Okay. Config dot u accelerometer accelerometer equals false config dot use compass equals false and that should be it so the idea is that you you conserve battery yeah that's basically it okay finally we want to make sure that HTML file project also uses a 800 by 480 okay we haven't I haven't chosen it for the HTML file project so we're not going to do that so if you watch my last video I believe it's it's either the last one or the one before that so we, we actually created the project and we ticked the the checkboxes for the project that we wanted to build so we're going to build it for Android and desktop we didn't tick the HTML option so don't worry about that so that's it let's run this and see if it's made any changes. Okay, let's let that run. And let's see. Let's go through the article to see what's to come. And then we can do that in the next video. I'm going to try and make this video as short so you don't get bored and fall asleep um, let me know what I can improve on because there's always room for improvement so okay the girdle build running okay let's wait for that loading the assets so in the next video we are going to load the assets that I showed you that I've already downloaded you can go ahead and download them using the the links that I showed and then we will load the assets uh, our first task is to load the assets and store references to them assets are usually loaded in the application adapter.create method so let's do that okay I think we should do that because this is going to take forever so let's go back to our core source yeah this package and first 2D game is that the one? yeah it is hopefully okay I think our project has run all right maybe not let's wait for it okay so I think we need to get rid of all of this uh, pre-generated uh, stuff over here mm yeah yeah i think that's the main class so we need to get rid of all of this right let's get rid of this and then let's define the attributes private texture drop image then private private texture bucket image okay let's copy this All 
Right. Right. Private sound drop sound. Drop sound. Private music is rain music. Okay. Right. So let's. I need to import the package. So let me press the keys that it's asking me to press. Right. Okay, let's just do it manually. Okay. So, okay, I think I deleted one of the other methods. So I'm going to manually do it. Hopefully, it will let me do it. If not, let's try and see if we can get it. Generate. Where is it? Where is it? Override. Create. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. So, let's go ahead. So, we are going to load the images for the droplet and the bucket. Okay. Let's leave a comment here. Load images for droplet and bucket and they're going to be 64 by 64 pixels right so drop image let's initialize this drop image equals new texture and let's browse to the file gdx dot files dot internal and then hopefully it's the same name droplet no I think I've changed it make sure you put in the quotes droplet sprite I think it was I'll just double check okay Let's go there. Android with assets. Here it is. Okay. It's drops right dot png and then buckets right dot png. Okay, drop sprite. Okay, let's copy this. Go away. Right. I can't see this. Okay, bucket image. Let's change this to bucket image. Right, and let's change that to what was it? Bucket sprite. Right, don't forget the semicolon. And let's load the drop sound. Okay, load the drop sound effect and the rain background music. So instead of writing all that, let's load the music. Drop sound. Okay, let's paste that. Why do the long way? Eh? tdx.audio.new sound. Right. Maybe I should have just done it manually. Right. Drop. Drop sound equals tdx.audio.new sound. 
and then we've got gdx dot files the internal drop I'm thinking about that project that we ran it's still running what was happened to it probably popped up somewhere but let's not get distracted let's do this yeah so we've initialized the drop sound now ray music let's go okay we can copy this one at least right we are making some progress right and I was actually thinking of doing this in the next video but I'm glad that we've managed to do it sometimes delays make you more productive I think that's what's happened in my case that's new music all right so the last bit is to start the playback of the background music immediately so this is going to be for playback start playback playback right of okay I put the whole thing background music right rain music dot set looping equals tr put true in there rain music dot play right okay so I'm gonna leave it there guys and let's try and run it again so what we've done is we created some attribute uh, we've declared attributes here okay we're gonna have a uh, two images and then we're gonna have the sound files sound and music right and then we've come here and we've initialized them and then we've uh, basically uh, said basically browsed to the files and that's it and let's run this again all right what's wrong with this man let's make this bigger let's look for errors Yeah, I know what the problem is. I haven't been uh, I haven't configured the it to run from the desktop. I think I um we we've already done that, so it should have worked for you. But I think I recreated this project, so for that reason, yeah, desktop it didn't load up. Sometimes you you make these a uh, mistakes stupid ones yeah okay so what's happening here what am I missing right let's go back okay it looks like it's not configured to run for the desktop so edit configurations click on the plus icon go to application this is what we did last time and it worked. Why isn't it working now? Okay, main class is desktop launcher. Okay, right, working directory. Yeah, should be fine. No, actually, working directory should be. I'm not sh sure, to be honest. I think this should be the asset folder. For the Android, okay, what am I doing? Android asset, I think that's yeah, that's right. And then choose the desktop option and then okay. Hopefully, this should fix the issue, right. Okay, 
Okay. It's loading. Yeah. So that's it. Uh, I believe it's a different size to what it was before. And that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something. Uh, I've learned a few things. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment. I really want to know what you guys think. Uh, do you like this approach of me learning live? If so, let me know. If you find it useful, don't forget to share this video. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. And click that bell so you don't miss the latest videos from this channel. I will see you in the next video where we will do some more coding. Let's see exactly what we're going to be doing. So we're going to have more attributes and we're going to initialize them and we're going to make some good progress. Yeah. So here we've got we're defining we're defining and initializing stuff and yeah 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 right yeah we've got a lot to learn basically so yeah don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and i will see you in the next video thank you